Hello, and welcome to the award ceremony for the top 20 seniors for the class of 2020. Well, I know this is not the format or the way that we had hoped to have this presentation to honor you for your achievements. This is still a great honor for you. I would like to congratulate all the top 20 seniors for all of your hard work in the past four years. It is through your strength and conviction, your perseverance, and the love and support of your family and friends that brought you here. I know you will continue to strive and achieve great things in your life. And just remember that one of my favorite quotes from Chicken Little, although at times it might seem like the sky is falling on you, never give up because every day will be a new day. Again, congratulations to the top 20 seniors for the class of 2020. Number 20, Crystal Dukluski. Crystal made lots of memories at GHS, but one of her favorites is joining the Friends of the Animals Club. She has been a member since sophomore year and it was the first club she ever joined. She said it was an amazing experience to be a member and to be a part of the animal lover community. It opened her eyes to different animals that normally she would not be able to meet, like bats, snakes, a police canine named Riker, and the beautiful horses at the Bergen County Horse Rescue Center. She would like to thank all of her teachers and wish she could give them each an individual shout out, but she cannot thank you all enough in a minute. Lastly, she would like to thank her mom, dad, and cousin Amber for all their love and support. Number 19. Jayla Arapovic. Be kind and work hard. Jayla has lived by these words since her first day at GHS, remembering to always push through and strive to be better every day. She owes her success and fond memories to the teachers and friends she's made in the past four years. Teachers like Ms. Nehas, Ms. Mobilio, Mr. Rigolosi, Mr. Bailey, Mr. Porto, and many, many more have made her success possible and it only started with a few clubs, classes, and even homeroom for them to impact her high school career immensely. Her favorite memories include homeroom and seeing her friends at the same table for four years, debate tournaments, swim meets, and all the little memories with friends. She plans to attend NJIT to major in computer science next year and in five years intends to be working as a software engineer to help further advance the world of technology. She wouldn't have realized her love for programming if it weren't for Mrs. Capello, who encouraged her to take the class and realize her potential, and Jayla ended up being glad she did. Their support and love empowered Jayla to succeed and receive her spot in this top 20. She'll never forget how she got here as she ventures onto college. Congratulations, Jayla. Number 18, Danielle Baswaldo. Danielle Baswaldo will remember Garfield High School's more nonsensical personality, from teachers doing push-ups and pull-ups in class to karaoke on slow days. She will remember all things weird fondly. She liked high school the most after hours, be it an evening event or chorus practice. She thought the void of busy student life in the hallways was peaceful. She would like to thank her teachers for their enthusiasm and creativity and providing a unique learning experience. She does not know what will come next in life, but all she can do is let go of the familiarity 12 years of school has given her and embrace the unknown. Number 17, Emily Sanabria. Emily has been in Garfield High School throughout her whole career and her favorite memories come from this school. Her favorite has to be the bus ride she took with her softball team throughout the years. She would like to thank Ms. Calderio, Mr. Porto, and her family for all the support they've given her. Emily plans to attend the University of Delaware for exercise science and a PhD in physical therapy. In the next five to 10 years, Emily hopes to have completed her PhD. She wants everyone to know that if they focus and remain in the right headspace, they'll realize they can tackle anything they want to accomplish. Emily Sinabria. Number 16, Melissa DaCosta. 
Melissa is very dependable, respectful, and a kind-hearted person who has strived each year of high school to achieve her goals. Besides academic achievements, what Melissa cherishes the most about high school is the memories she and her classmates have created. Senior year has been her favorite as her class finally came together to support one another. From Friday night football, soccer, and basketball games to creating bonds with the most down-to-earth teachers, her favorite being Mrs. Caruso. Mrs. Caruso is more than a teacher, she is a friend. Someone who Melissa and other students could go to if they need advice, a shoulder to cry on, or just a laugh. In the fall, Melissa will be attending Montclair State University, in which she is proud to thank her biggest supporter and her best friend, her mother. Something that her mother always says and that Melissa will cherish deeply is, no matter how hard you will fall, remember you are the greatness and will rise greater. Number 15, Roberto Ambrosio. As a person, Roberto is known to be a jack of all trades, from being an accomplished multi-medalist runner to everyone's favorite jokester, he did it all. When Roberto was appointed to the position of captain of our cross country team, his leadership skills came into play whenever the Boilermakers would go up against competitive teams. Ultimately, it was his contagious and high energy morale that kept everyone else calm, but also hyped to do their best. When it came to the classroom, Roberto excelled there too, which led him to the top 20. Some of Roberto's favorite memories at GHS would be playing Mario Kart on the smart board in Mr. Rigolosi's room at the end of the year with all his friends, enjoying snacks and just having a good time. Roberto plans on attending NJIT to pursue his career as a computer scientist and hopes to find a job in the field of video game programming. Congratulations, Roberto. Number 14, Julia Cars. Ever since Julia Cars walked into Garfield High School, she has always been motivated and determined to be one of the top students of her class. Julia is a hardworking student and was able to be on the superintendent's list throughout all four years of high school. She is also very active in school. Julia is a member of the National Honor Society, Math Honor Society, the Polish Club, the Yearbook Club, Wrestling, and Varsity Soccer. Julia will attend Rutgers University in the fall of 2020 and major in business. She is thankful and grateful for all of her teachers and coaches who helped her during her four years at Garfield High School. Julia is also very thankful for her family and friends who helped her achieve her goals and create long-lasting memories. Number 13, Maya Trajanowska, a girl from Macedonia who worked hard to achieve her goals and adapt. From a girl who didn't know the first thing about MLA format to taking the AP English tests. From a girl who dragged the Gatorade bucket to becoming the captain of her girls soccer team. She is grateful for her experiences at Garfield High School and the way they have allowed her to grow as a person. Her teachers and coaches alike helped her believe in herself and proved to herself that she is more capable than she initially thought. Even when she doubted herself and got overwhelmed, there was always someone to help her back up. She is honored to be graduating with some of those people. Though Maya Trejanowska will be becoming a Red Hawk at Montclair State University, she will always be a Boilermaker. She wishes all the best not only to the class of 2020, but everyone that has made an impact on her life during her high school experience. Maya Trajanowska. Number 12, Jason Cordova. Jason will be attending the New Jersey Institute of Technology next year, majoring in computer science under the EOP program and taking accelerated classes in the summer. He would like to thank Mr. Porto for guiding him ever since freshman year and giving him the hope that he wishes to carry outside of Garfield High School. His goals in the next 10 years are to graduate with a master's degree in computer science while working at a major brand software company before leaving to pursue his dream of one day making his own. Number 11, 
Cassandra Grupa. Cassandra Grupa was the GHS January Student of the Month and is a member of the Math and National Honor Societies. In addition, Cassandra was awarded first team all league while being part of the varsity softball and varsity volleyball teams. This upcoming fall, she will be attending Ramapo College as a nursing major. Cassandra is a nationally certified emergency medical technician and while working during this pandemic, she realized that she wants to further her skills in the medical field. Her goal is to become a nurse practitioner after completing her master's in science and then possibly enrolling in medical school. She lives by the life motto, begin with the end in mind. Congratulations, Cassandra. Number 10, Patrick Wears Bicky. Patrick is known for his abstract sense of humor. His favorite class is AP Computer Science, and he is currently pursuing a computer science degree to one day be a software engineer. His favorite quote is, to be rather than to seem. Patrick will continue his education at Ramapo College. Number nine, Jake Pittori. Jake has been in Garfield for the past 15 years and his favorite memories come from this school. His favorite has to be when he went to prom his sophomore year with his friends from Drama Club. He would like to thank Ms. Robin, Ms. Calderio, Mr. Porto, Ms. D'Angelo, and his mother for all the support they've given him. Jake plans to attend Pratt Institute in Brooklyn, New York, majoring in fine arts. In the next five to ten years, Jake hopes to be somewhere he can truly express himself and love life. He wants everyone to know that dyeing your hair, painting your nails, and piercing your ears doesn't define you. Your heart does. Jake Pittori. Number eight. Vanessa Grupa. Vanessa is going to attend Montclair State University in the fall, where she will be studying psychology. Her plans are to get her PhD and become a clinical psychologist. In addition to being ranked eighth in her class, she was also inducted in the National Honor Society. Some of her favorite high school memories are cracking jokes and laughing hysterically in the hallways with Sharika and Anita after lunch. She enjoyed staying up late at night recording and editing short films with her classmates. Her favorite teacher is her psychology teacher, Mr. Porto, because he always goes the extra mile for his students to see them succeed. On her free time, she enjoys taking trips to the beach and painting outdoors. She developed a competitive side to her when she started playing softball and volleyball at GHS. One thing she'll miss about high school is the school spirit at football games. Number seven, Carolina Cotula. Carolina will be attending Stockton University in the fall and majoring in criminal justice. She would like to thank her family and all her teachers for pushing her and giving her the opportunities she needs to thrive. She hopes that in five or 10 years, she will be happily married and working for the FBI. Her favorite memory of GHS is running through the empty halls during track practice and noticing all the trophies and medals that were dedicated to students and understanding that it doesn't matter what school you go to, only what you make of it. Carolina took many difficult classes throughout high school and she will always remember the quote that helped her through it all. This is for no one else but you. Thrive for you, and in the end, you will be successful. Congratulations, Carolina. Number six, Anita Baltaliva. Garfield High School has made Anita's four years unforgettable. She made it her priority to become a well-rounded individual and excel at every one of her goals. A few of her most favorite school memories were the Academic Day Trip and Greece Spirit Day. Four teachers who truly shaped her high school experience were Mrs. Serfozo, Mr. Porto, Mr. Kahn, and Mrs. D'Angelo. 
They believed in her when she did not believe in herself. Anita was part of countless clubs and sports, including girls' soccer, women's empowerment, TI, Polish club, wrestling, and many more. Anita plans on attending Rutgers University as a nursing major starting fall of 2020. In five to 10 years, she hopes to become a pediatric nurse practitioner and successfully make the most out of her life. She would like to thank GHS, along with her family and friends, for being such an amazing part of her life and one of the biggest support groups she could ever ask for. Number five, Sharika Henry. Sharika will truly miss her time at Garfield High School. High school has taught her everything, academically, socially, and mentally, and she will always be grateful for that. These four years have thrown many obstacles her way, but she has persevered through all of them with the help of her teachers, coaches, family, and friends. Sharika will be attending Fairleigh Dickinson University as a nursing major. From the very first day, Sharika's main priority was her education, and it shows. She stands here today proud of not only herself, but also proud of her peers for getting through these unexpected times and making the top 20. Sharika Henry. Number four, Kyle Sosha. Kyle has worked tirelessly over the last four years wanting to leave his mark for future Boilermakers that will someday fill his shoes. From being a peer leader for TI to being one of the head editors for the yearbook committee, Kyle has taken advantage of all that Garfield High School has to offer. From a lost freshman in Ms. Cotta's Honors World History class to receiving his September Student of the Month speech during his senior year from Ms. Cotta. She has truly been one of those once in a lifetime teachers in Kyle's life. All of Kyle's hard work is beginning to pay off and he can't thank all of his teachers, coaches and family enough for being there every step of the way. With a bright future in store for him, he can't wait to see how many more lives he can impact in the near future. Kyle's final high school chapter is coming to an end, but he wants his final message to all those who have looked up to him as a peer leader to be that they can accomplish anything they set their mind to. Good luck, Kyle. Number three, Natasha Castro. Natasha will fondly remember her high school years as the building blocks to success for the rest of her future. Her best memories come from playing on the tennis team and competing with her fellow members on the debate team. She would like to thank her teachers, Ms. Mobilio, Ms. Nehas, Mr. Bailey, and Mr. Porto for always believing in her and pushing her to do better. Natasha will be attending New York University and majoring in childhood education and special education. Her goal in the future is to be a teacher and help guide future generations to succeed. Congratulations, Natasha. Number two, Udav Chenawala. Udav will forever remember his time in Garfield High School as his own coming of age story. He recalls his first days in freshman year when he was a typical shy new kid, but over the years, he came to meet some of the most amazing people he could have ever had the chance to and made friendships, which he is sure will last way beyond the nostalgic hallways of GHS. Along the way, of course, he learned the contents of his classes, yet also he learned how to be a teenager, he learned how to better himself, and also learned how to let go and enjoy life. With learning also came realizations, and over the past four years, Udov came to realize which things mattered the most to him in the world. He realized that the people in his life, his family and also the ones newly met, but just as important, well, their happiness would be his greatest pursuit. He takes solace in finally understanding that the best moments of his high school life were those spent with his closest friends, be it helping backstage in the drama club, attending his first ever debate competition, or just going down by the river. He believes that it was these people which made him into who he is. He now thinks with sadness that these times should come to an end so soon, but alas, he is grateful they lasted for this long. 
Number one, Daylene Pena. Daylene will be attending Stevens Institute of Technology next year, where she will be majoring in chemical biology. She hopes to pursue a career in research, work in a lab, and one day get her PhD. Daylene will never forget the memories formed in this school. She would like to thank her teachers and family that have supported her throughout the years at Garfield High School. She is very proud to be the valedictorian for the class of 2020. Daylene Pena. Hi everybody. You're probably wondering who I am. I probably don't know any of you, but uh, my name is Dan Andreuli. I was a Garfield student and uh, graduated the year of 98, so uh, 22 years ago. Um, longer than uh, however old you guys are, so uh, it's been a while. But uh, Mr. Bori asked me to uh, see if I can do a quick video for you guys. First of all, congratulations, top 20. Uh, it's an awesome achievement. You should be so proud of yourselves. Uh, you know, literally a testament to your hard work and dedication through the four years that you've been at uh, at the high school. Um, very, very happy for you guys. Best of luck in everything. I'll say it again later, but uh, you guys deserve a big round of applause. I know how hard it is. I was actually, back in 98, they didn't do top 20, they did top 15. And I just made it in by the skin of my teeth. I was the 15th, so uh, I know exactly what it takes to get there, and uh, you guys worked for it so congrats a um, little bit about my history so I graduated from Garfield in 98 went on to Rutgers in New Brunswick uh, Cook College at the time now they don't call that anymore but uh, I went to school for computer science so I learned how to program and all that stuff and graduated in 02 when there was literally a dot-com bus so no jobs uh, <laughs> so at, during college at the last uh, in my senior year I actually went to work full-time in addition to going to school uh, for a nonprofit organization so most of you probably know the trend group um, or the LMTI foundation I used to uh, work for them I worked for them for two years and rebel as well for two years so uh, started off my career as a nonprofit uh, employee uh, completely different than computer programming but that's part of my speech that you're gonna see that trend uh, over my life so from there, I decided to go to grad school uh, because there were no jobs. And uh, I went to John Jay College in Manhattan for a master's degree in digital and computer forensics. So exciting career. During uh, that schooling opportunity, I uh, started uh, an internship with the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office in, in uh, Paramus which is a law enforcement agency, if you don't know what that is. So I was, uh, th I worked there for six years, and over that time, um, I got my master's and um, did a lot of cool things. So if you ever, if you don't know about working for the police, especially on a, an active unit, uh, you're doing search warrants, you're doing uh, investigations, homicides, uh, white collar crime, uh, drug crimes, everything like that. Um, so I saw a lot of stuff. Uh, and it was a very, very interesting and fulfilling job. Um, but eventually, I had to move on. And from there, I went to the private sector for computer forensics and worked a lot for legal companies, um, helping out with lawsuits. And uh, basically, and I'm sorry about the background noise, it's a beautiful day, so I figured I'd try to do this outside. Hopefully it's not too distracting, but uh, basically what I did was uh, lawyers would call us and we would go and collect data and analyze it for lawsuits and, and help people out. And that kind of gets old after a while. You're on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, working out of New York City. And from there, I was kind of getting a little stressed out and um, I had two kids and we were married and had a house. So I wasn't home a lot, uh, which makes it difficult. So. Uh, you may know from last year, my brother Craig did the speech for the top 20. He actually is part owner in a mortgage company and he kept trying to get me to come on board and uh, complete, you know, obviously I was hesitant because it wasn't what I went to school for. So uh, it was a big decision in my life. Eventually after, after some many years thinking about it, I did make the move. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, a little while from now, but basically, you know, it's a hard decision to decide what you did or what you 
dedicated so many years to is not where you're going to be doing anymore. So I am a team manager there and a, a mortgage banker. Um, and it's been actually really fun and really good. I get to work with my brother, so that's an added bonus. I get to see my kids, I get to be home, and I'm making money for the family. So all in all, it's a lot less stressful, it's a good move, and uh, I'm happy about it. But let's go back a little bit, right? So Garfield, Boilermakers, uh, to this day, I am so proud to be a Boilermaker. Uh, there is something about being from Garfield and the City of Champions and just the pride that you have from working your way up and fighting against all the odds, except, especially if you're in the top 20, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, you're going to college most likely or a tech school or going right into the workforce. Uh, a lot of people have a hard time doing that. And let, let this truck pass. Especially from Garfield, right? We don't have a lot of favors, we don't have a lot of connections, but you can still make it happen. The teachers there are amazing. You, you take what you can if you put the effort in from Garfield, which is, I tell everyone, unbelievable school. I know the physical school has changed a little bit since I've been there. The faces have changed, but the hard work, the care of the staff, unparalleled. I truly, truly believe that. Um, so you guys have a good base. All right, that's what you need. You set yourselves up. Now you're looking to the future. If you're going to school, you're thinking about majors. You're thinking about what you want to do for the rest of your life. And I'm going to tell you right now, you have no clue, okay? You're going to think one thing, and it's going to change 17 times before you graduate, before you get married, when you have kids, and hopefully into a long, long adult life. And that is the biggest, one of the biggest things I want you to take away from this speech. Do not be afraid to reevaluate re your goals and change them. People who walk blindly towards a goal and never think about changing it or if it still fits your lifestyle or if it still fits what you want, if it's gonna make you happy, those people are setting themselves up for failure. Okay, you can have an idea, you can have a five-year plan, but it will change and make sure you take the time on a monthly or yearly basis to reevaluate those goals, okay? You can get to school and you can start your classes for your major and completely hate it. Don't be afraid to change your mind. Keep your options open. You have to obviously try it. You have to obviously put the work in, but after a point you're gonna know. So I want you, I want you to take that with you. Don't be afraid to reevaluate and change. Um, another piece of advice I wanted to give you. Don't live through digital devices, don't live through your phone, don't live through your social media account, okay? When I was in high school, we had beepers. We didn't even have cell, I mean, cell phones were just coming out. So it was a little different for us. We didn't really have that temptation as much. The internet was there, but completely different world today. And working with the police, I see the negative effects it can have on young adults. I have dealt with suicides and, um, other horrible, horrible things, okay? That environment, that technology, it's amazing, but if you get wrapped up in it, if you get trapped in it, it can ruin your life. Use it to your advantage. Use it to keep in touch with people. Use it to have fun. Do not let it run your life, okay? Um, have life experiences. Try to do and experience as much as you can. Go hiking, go walking. Get outside. One thing I regret looking back at all my years is I was a computer science major. What do you think I was doing a lot of the time? I was at a desk behind a computer. I did not go out that much and enjoy the world. I didn't go out and enjoy nature until recently. And I really regret that. All right, there's so much, so much you can see. There's so many things you can learn just from walking up a mountain, um, seeing the view. It changes your perspective on life. Don't forget about those little things, especially in today's world where we don't really think about that. We think about getting to the next practice, getting my homework done, getting to the next test and passing, uh, checking my phone to see if my buddy uh, I am me or where we're going tonight, okay? Think past that. Um, try to do as much as you can and learn from everything. Another huge tip, take notes. All right, we live in a digital age. Evernote, browser uh, bookmarks. You're going to forget things. There's so much information. There's so much out there. You can, you can find something. It can spark your interest. 
and then you'll get wrapped up and caught into something and you'll forget about it two days later. Take notes on everything from schoolwork to life, make lists, do not neglect yourself, do not neglect your, your enjoyment, do not neglect, neglect things that you think you would like to learn about, okay? Keep track of those things, it's, it's easy to forget. Um, that leads to one of my biggest things, have a hobby or two or three, something you can do by yourself, something you don't need other people for. Sometimes you, especially as you grow older and when you get into stressful situations like you're going to be uh, coming up in, in the next few months, um, you need to have an escape. You need to have some way to release that energy. Read, uh, hike, write, listen play music. One of the biggest things that I love about what I did growing up and what my parents forced me to do was play instruments. Start now. There's so many videos online. You can learn an instrument, you can buy it cheap, and, and there's so much enjoyment to be had from that. Um, let's see my notes here. Pretty. That's pretty much it. I, I want you to live your best life, okay? Um, it's, it's hard to listen to someone that you don't know. I know you just want to get through this and, and graduate, but everybody who's talking to you is jealous of where you are and where you're going to be going in the next four to six years. We all wish, everybody who's 30 and older, wish we can go back to experience the times and the, and the fun and the experiences that you're going to have in the next couple months and years. This is it. You're gonna get married, hopefully, or you know, you're gonna have kids, hopefully. You're gonna have a job. Once those things start, this personal time that you're gonna have right now, coming up, will never happen again. Enjoy every minute. I'm gonna leave you with two quotes. I know I've gone a little long, but two quotes, okay? Both by Robert Frost. Check him out. He's an amazing poet. Poet. The first is, the only way round is through. You have to experience life. The only way round is through. Skirting things, taking the easy way, and, and not doing something hard. You will gain nothing from that. You will have the biggest gains by experiencing. The only way round is through. And my final quote for you, in three words I can sum up everything I've learned about life. It goes on. Always remember that, as bad as it is, as hard as it can be, if you don't see light at the end of the tunnel, it will go on. It goes on. Now, I want you to go on, live your best life, accomplish your goals, enjoy it, have fun, and congratulations. Top 20. Proud of you guys. Have a good one. To the top 20 seniors of the class of 2020, congratulations on such an amazing accomplishment. Four years of hard work, perseverance, and determination has led to this amazing accomplishment. Although senior year did not end as we wanted, it was our pleasure to help you make your years at Garfield High School memorable. Congratulations and best wishes. We can't wait to hear your success stories. Congratulations.